There you have it, your top 10 finalists. Among these top 10 ladies tonight that you are looking at are your next batch of Miss World Queens. That's correct. Wow, five of these lucky ladies will move on to represent the Philippines. Three of them, actually, will move on to represent the Philippines on the international stage. This is the moment of a lifetime. My goodness, ladies, take one big deep breath. This is the moment it all boils down to. Absolutely. Once again, a round of applause to our top 10 ladies from Quezon Province, from Cavite, from Pasig City, from Tarlac, from Pampanga, Bicol, Batangas, Manila, Baguio City, and Pangasinan. Marina, one last shot to cheer for your finalists. Sino sa tingin nyo ang mag-uwi ng corona ngayong gabi? Who will bring home the crown for Miss World Philippines 2024? You know, Billy, I'm feeling so nervous for these candidates. Oh I, my gosh, this is the top 10 cut. I didn't even survive that. My I goodness. absolutely agree with you. Nerve-wracking, but you know, we're giving these ladies a bit of time to relax. Thoughts a bit. Indeed. Enjoy the moment because this is not every day. That's and true. And it's absolutely a blessing to be on this stage absolutely. representing. Absolutely. As this moment brings me back to the past, I want to take this moment to shout out to my Miss World Queens from 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, they are all over there. For the past two years, the queens of Miss World 2021 and 2022 have been the most amazing sisters. Ladies, say hi. We have our first princess, Miss Cassandra. Chan. Oh my goodness. We have Katrina Legado, second princess. Looking amazing, ladies. Aging like fine wine. You look better than when we were all here. Maturity of all these women, it's absolutely amazing, man. Wow. And speaking of our next batch of queens, let's begin with our first candidate for the question and answer portion. Now, who will be the first candidate? Maybe call on Quezon Province, Maria Andrea E. Endicio. And we have, of course, um, ooh, our dashing assistant with a bowl. So Please now, pick. these are the name of the judges that will be asking you the question. So, who will be your judge? Miss Tina Cuevas, philanthropist, hotelier, and socialite. Hello. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Uh, what will what what will be your definition of kindness? Good luck. Kindness for me is having a heart to help without expecting for anything in return. Kindness is something that comes from you naturally. It is something that you give without stopping. And it's and it's something that you give from your deepest part of your soul and I think kindness is what we need for us to attain peace in this world thank you thank you so much great job Maria Andrea Iandicio Quezon Province and now wow. let's call in the next candidate we have from Cavite Diamate Oh, she's got a lot of fans tonight. Absolutely. You may now choose from the bowl which judge will be asking you the question. <laughs> Good luck. 
Thank you. Maria, please do the honors. Your judge is Filipino professional boxer and Olympic champion, current IBF and IB, IBO and IBF intercontinental superweight featherweight champion of the world with 19 wins and zero losses, Mr. Charlie Suarez. Where do you, where do you get your strength from? Repeat. Where do you get your strength from? Strength from. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sir Charlie. I get my strength from my family. I grew up with an amazing family. They're here today on both sides of the arena. And they taught me a lot about kindness and growing up helping out in my community. And that's what I did at Crips Foundation foundation teaching girls music and that's what I want to preach to others is that you can spread kindness and you don't have to have a loving family you don't have to grow up well and privileged to sh spread kindness to the world and if we are able to keep that motto within us we'll have a better world thank you right on the dot on time thank you so much you. Miss Cavite Diamate and may we call up on stage from Capitolio Pasig, Rihanna Agata or Agata Pangindian. My dear, my dear, good evening. Good evening. You may now pick the judge who will deliver your question. All right. And uh, the judge would be Mr. Andy Rigaldo, Chief Sapes, Sales uh, and Marketing Officer of Banyang Tree, Manila Bay. Hello. Hi, good evening, sir. Good evening. Do you think global warming poses a real threat to mankind and the planet Earth? Why or why not? Definitely. I think global warming does harm to us humans. And if we do not take action as early as today, then we might live in a world that is full of har harm to our children, to the future generation. So I think it's really important that we take action today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow. Who's our next candidate? This is tough. Our next candidate would be from Tarlac Province, Jasmine Omai. Jasmine Omai. Good evening. Okay, Captain. Are your seat belts fastened? That's <laughs> right. Emergency exits in front and the back. Go ahead and pick your judge. All right. Ooh, all right. Miss Laura Lemon, Miss World Philippines 2017. Hello, candidate. Hi, Ms. Laura. Province. Hello. Okay, so your question is, if you were asked to come up with your own slogan to promote the Philippines, what would it be and why? If I would come up uh, with a slogan for the Philippines, it would have to be, still, choose the Philippines. I would give you many reasons why we Filipinas always come out on top in a community, in a setting, in an international world. And this is the reason why is because we're always so happy to each other. We're very related to a lot of people from our experiences and we drew that strength from within because we know we are the second happiest country in the world. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate that. What, that answer makes me proud to be Filipino. Absolutely. And now when we call on Miss Pampanga, Sofia Bianca Santos. Wow, what a dress, Miss Pampanga. Good evening, Miss Pampanga. Here is uh, the bowl of judges. All right. And your question will be coming from the Chief Operating Officer of Aqua Baracay, Mr. Carlo Call. Hello. Good evening, sir. Good evening. So, do you want to be different or do you want to belong? Please explain. As someone who experienced being neglected and ignored, I want to experience the 
sense of belongingness, and that's my beauty with a purpose, empowering the indigenous people. So I want to champion the sense of belongingness. Indeed, no one deserves to be left behind and being neglected. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Papaka. It's tough for these ladies, Maria. Yes, it is, it is. And next up, good Ooh, luck, Bicol Region. I'm feeling the nerves. Jan or Isabel? Jean Isabel Bilasano. Jean. Absolutely. I got you, I Thank got you. Maria. you. Hi, good Jean. evening, Miss Bicol Region. Here we go, let me choose who's asking the question. Oh, that's one, absolutely. She took two, she wants two now. <laughs> Challenge. All right. Your judge is Ms. Daisy Reyes Tobias, Binibini Pilipinas World 1996. Ms. Bicol Region, kumusta ka? Good evening po. I'm feeling really nice today. Thank you. Smile. <laughs> My question to you is, what is more important to you? A successful career or a happy family? Thank you for the question. I would like to believe that charity and love is fostered in the family. And I believe no one will be successful in their careers without a good family. So I'd always choose a happy and loving family because when I have my family, I know I will go places. Thank you very much, Miss Bicol Region. Thank you very much, Miss Bicol Region. The crowd kind of warmed up there. Can we hear there. it for her fans? Who in the stadium is here for Belle? Well, this competition is wow. not over yet. Because, Maria, we still have Miss Batangas. We've got four candidates left. Absolutely. Wow. You look like the ocean. It's so pretty. <laughs> I feel like a kid in the candy store with all these counts. Good evening, Miss <laughs> Good evening. Here Go are ahead your choices. Good luck. And pick your judge for this evening. And your question will be coming from actress, singer, and dance endorser, the most timeless beauty, Miss Sunshine Cruz. Good evening, Patricia. Here's my question. If you were given a chance to be the president of the country for one week, name three things that you would want to accomplish within that time. Three things that I would want to accomplish is definitely one, going back to my advocacy, which is inclusive education for those with disabilities. And two, I would build more opportunities of equality for women and those who feel marginalized based on their identity. And three, I would also give back to the underdeveloped communities of the Philippines so that we could build more schools in those areas. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ms. Batangas, Patricia, a systematic Bianca, answer for a systematic question. Proud Only Patangeli. three candidates left to go. And uh, Oh, wow. We I'm looking very much forward to this. Ms. Manila. Please step forward. Ms. Gabrielle Lancer. Ms. Manila, please pick your question from the bowl. Yes. All right. Are you ready for this, Gabrielle? Your question will be coming from President of House Foods Group Asia Pacific, Mr. Suichiro Ito. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Gabriel. Um, my question to you will be, uh, should patient queens take an active stance regarding the country's political affairs? Why or why not? In terms of political stance,
Students are given a large platform to express their opinions, to express their thoughts on what would be better for the country. So in terms of politics, I say we should use the platforms we are given to make a voice, to make a change for our country that we oh so love. Thank you. Thank you, Gabrielle Lancer. See, Billy, that's what happens when we manage our studies. That's awesome. And join pageants at the same time. I'm very impressed. You just unlock some kind of different level up there. Wow. Absolutely. Now maybe we call on Baguio City. We're down to our last two finalists. Krishna Marie Gravides. Miss Baguio City. You can go ahead and pick a question from our bowl. Or shall I call you Maria Clara tonight? <laughs> Your judge is... Mr. World 2022, Kirk Bondad. Hi. Hi. This is your question. Should inclusivity be a top priority among pageants? Yes or no? Explain your answer. Once again, should inclusivity be a top priority among pageants? Pageantry is a platform where we express ourselves as women and men, and I feel like this is a great platform for us to promote our advocacies, the causes that we're fighting for, and the things that we love. So I think that in a world where evolving, I think we as humans should evolve too. Thank you. Thank you very much, Miss Baguio City straight from the heart and now ladies and gentlemen the Our last, last candidate, candidate miss pangasinan nikki buena Fe. go nikki all right let's pick a question from the poll to select the judge <laughs> wow we have very prayerful girls tonight absolutely but Here that's we what we always reply, Diba. Right? Why are you so beautiful? Prayers long. <laughs> Maybe call on Dr. Robert Michael Gann, Executive Board Director of GAOC Group of Companies. Hi, Nikki. Hello. Good evening. Here's your question. What will you tell a young girl who is suffering from low self-esteem? I would tell her to be kind to herself. I was once a girl with low self-esteem. I had no confidence. I was struggling with my mental health. Everyday living was hard. But I told myself that I can do better, that I deserve better, that I know that I am capable of so much more, and that I am enough. And since then, I was able to build myself up. Because of that, I found my purpose, which is the provision of clean water to communities and inspiring people to reach their dreams. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Pangasinan. Thank you so much, Nikki. And that rounds off our top 10 finalists. Once again, a round of applause to our Miss World Philippines 2024 Final 10. Let's